Khloe Kardashian gave her followers tips for looking thin AF in pictures, and people are pissed. Well, as we all know, the Kardashian brand is all about them looking hot and glam and bougie and other words, I've been told. But they've always been about inclusion and made it all about showing you their unattainable lifestyle and not expecting the fans to follow. Let's be honest, it's hard for your everyday person to keep up with a woman who has unending time, money and help in looking whatever damn way she wants. Are you with me, girls? <laughs> Thanks, girls. So that's why people are up in arms about this post from Chloe. I got you, booze. Buy packs to look thin AF in pics. I know, I know, I know. I mean, these girls here have gone quiet, so you can imagine how Twitter's reacted. This is so problematic. Influencers like you should be promoting people loving themselves instead of trying to change their appearance for photos. I expected better. Not something you should be promoting. Maybe five hacks to start living your healthiest, happy, best AF life. Nah. You're all about body positivity, and yet you're giving hacks to people on how to look thinner? These tweets are spot on, and hopefully this backlash will remind Chloe and the whole Kardashian clan that to promote anything that might increase people's happiness is a great thing, but being thinner doesn't equal being happier. Can we keep them around? Lovely. What are you lot doing here watching me when there's a fantastic interview with actor slash director talking about his new horror movie at South by Southwest like five seconds away? Seriously, as a fan of the genre, can I just say the concept behind this movie is absolutely incredible. Check it out. This movie is about a family who has to remain quiet. Silence is impossible, but trying to remain quiet. And you have to figure out why. Why do they have to remain quiet? And it's, it's to keep themselves safe from something bad out there. The bigger idea is it's a metaphor on parenthood and the idea and the fear of all parents have of not quite being able to protect your children from the big bad world. But essentially it is a film where a family is being hunted by a species that are um, attracted to sound and so they have to live as silently as possible. But the silence is used as another character in, in the film really. Krispy Kreme has released a new donut filled with Nutella, but there's a catch. Yes, it's true. Gone are the days when you'd have to go to the shops, buy a donut, take it home and dip it in chocolate hazelnut spread yourself. <laughs> right? The clever clogs over at Krispy Kreme have dreamt up the wombo combo everyone except your doctor has been waiting for. Sorry to get your hopes up, but this delicious little Frankenstein is only available in one country, the Dominican Republic. I mean, you could get a flight over there, but that'll lift the price from a couple of quid to 700 pounds and a couple of quid. And that's just not worth it. <laughs> Right. Until then, if you want to know what it tastes like, just imagine your first favourite thing stuffed inside your second favourite thing stuffed inside your mouth. Kylie Jenner's main girl has four wheels and she's getting mum shamed. Not okay. After the birth of her super cute daughter Stormy, Kylie is well and truly back in our lives and our social media feeds. But after posting a pic of her brand new Ferrari on Instagram and naming it my main girl, mum shamers forced her to rename it my new b I mean, why didn't you just call it Kardashian? Hello? That's not even a joke, it's just obvious. Kai's followers started posting stuff like, what about your baby? And lass, you need a people carrier to put a car seat in, not a new Ferrari. And some fans have been quoting Kylie's 2015 interview with Elle, where she said she'd like to quit Instagram once she had kids. The reality star's also been chatting about her actual main girl, saying that though Stormy hasn't laughed yet, she's constantly smiling and said, her little toes get me every time. Did Prince Harry and Meghan Markle just shade Liam Payne in front of the Queen? This is total jokes. The former One Direction star just performed in front of the Royals at the Commonwealth Day church service in London. But when Big Payno's stripped down cover of John Mayer's Waiting on the World to Change finished, cameras at Westminster Abbey turned to the crowd cam and caught Prince Harry raising an eyebrow. Meghan caught the look before bowing her head to conceal her creasing. And oh my God, this has to become a meme. Twitter's been reacting with users calling Liam the David Brent of pop. Wills and Kate, Prince Charles, Camilla and Slay Queen Liz also saw the performance. I guess they won't be booking Liam for the wedding. Meghan and Kate also showed off their new sisterhood by twinning in identical blue pumps. Maybe they got a two for one. 
Transgender model Monroe Bergdorf has hit back at trolls with a photo of her before transitioning. Our BFF Monroe just posted a photograph of herself as an 11 year old boy as a retaliation against haters who called her ugly. The former L'Oreal model is feeling like her most authentic self ever after amazing facial feminization surgery, all the flame emojis, but just hit social media to defend herself against horrific messages she'd received over a photo of her as a boy. Monroe slammed uneducated users online saying, I am at peace with who I was then because I'm at peace with who I am now. Posting or sharing a childhood image of me in an effort to tear me down is a reflection of your own unrest and discomfort with who you are. It has absolutely nothing to do with who I am physically or mentally. Yes, queen. Monroe also described the picture calling herself a sad, uncomfortable and misunderstood child who still lives inside of her. But that awkward child became a strong, fearless woman. I think that there's a great beauty in that evolution, even if others don't. It comes after she stepped down from her position as LGBT advisor to a Labour MP after only a week into the job. Her decision to step down was due to endless attacks on her character and online abuse over that former Facebook post where she said, all oh, white people are racist. Monroe and I used to DJ together and girl, you are a beautiful person inside and out. Cancel all your plans for tonight because Team Mum UK is back on MTV at 8pm and you really won't want to miss it. Trust me. Amber, Chloe, Megan, Mia and Sassy are all returning to show us the highs and lows of parenthood from serious drama to some seriously cute baby moments. And talking of drama, here's a sneak peek of what's coming up for Amber and her ex-boyfriend. So what are you going to do with Friday then? Are you going to invite her or not? I'll ask her. I don't know how comfortable she'll feel being here, like, around all your family, do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's the only thing, so, innit? I'll just say, like, she's got nothing to worry about. It's cos she's par... I, she's to me. I get it, I get it yeah. that she's probably paranoid yeah, and all that. Girl, right? But wait, wait, you've... No, 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 no. You've got to say to her, me and you are friends, I don't... I mean, like... It's like we're not even ex-partners, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I've it's really that. weird. I said me and Amber have got a mad friendship and I, I, I promise you, so when I first met her, I was like, you'll have to get over it or it'll just cause problems. Apparently, you can now go to the pub on the border of North Korea in case you're missing your local whilst visiting. A typical English village has been built in a town called Paju. Its official title is the Gyeonggi English Village. It's a place where, according to the website, people can use the English language in a variety of contexts as well as experience in English-speaking cultures. A classic pub, bright red post boxes and not one but two beef eaters complete the village because everyone needs an extra one of those, right? The modern town is based on everything that celebrates Great Britain. I know I'm blowing your mind at the moment as to why on earth Kim Jong-un has built this homage to our country and I have no answers. I'm just as baffled as you are. Not content with having two beef eaters in the village, you can also visit the local police station or pop to the post office, but the very best is in the car park where a huge Stonehenge has been built in between the parking spaces. It's all just very bizarre, but if this is right up your street and you'd like to apply for a job here, then I'm here to help. I quote, you'll be asked to use your head, heart, body and soul in ways you've never had before. You may be writing, composing, choreographing, costume designing, building sets and so much more. That's just from 9 to 6, by the way. Post that, you can swim, dance, play rugby and celebrate birthdays. Over 185,000 students from more than 3,000 American schools walked out of them to demand stricter gun control laws. This follows the massacre last month at a school in Florida in which 17 students were killed. And now students across the entire United States are mobilizing in a phenomenal display of activism that leaves most adults' attempts to make change for dust. Some gathered in formation on their school field to spell out enough. Some lay down in silent protests, some read poems, all are demanding more from their government. Celebrities have been vocal in their support, with Miley Cyrus tweeting, Proud of all of you. Never give up. You are the change. And Zendaya is saying, I am so proud. I stand with every student today. And while it's pretty eye-gougingly depressing to look at the adults leading the world, it's incredibly inspiring to see these young people. They're the future and they're demanding one they want. To quote a sign held by one of the student marches, When leaders act like kids and kids act like leaders, change. Here's some more support from celebrities.
Brave Kendall Jenner comes out as straight in a new interview for Vogue. The horse rider turned model turned horse rider again has also made pains to clarify that she's not transgender, despite having what she clarified as many male qualities, such as being tough. She says, I don't think I have a bisexual or gay bone in my body, but I don't know. Who knows? Then she adds, I have a kind of a male energy, but I don't want to say that wrong because I'm not transgender or anything. But I have a tough energy. I move differently. But to answer your question, I'm not gay. I have literally nothing to hide. Well, thank you so much for clearing that up for us all, Kenny. We were so concerned. I would just like to point out here that that was sarcasm. I was doing the sarcasm. In other news, fans suspect that Harry Styles may be bisexual after he sung a new song which includes the verse, the boys and girls are here, I'm messing around with them, and I'm okay with it. When asked about his sexuality, in the past he said, I don't feel like it's something I've ever felt like I have to explain about myself. Which is great, you shouldn't ever have to feel the need to explain or justify your sexuality to anyone. Everyone should be able to love whoever they want in any safe way they want without judgement. Please. It is 2018. Is Zayn Malik's little sister Safa throwing shade at Gigi Hadid in her latest Instagram post? Let's take it back a little bit. Malik auditioned as a solo artist for the British music competition The X Factor in 2010. Okay, that's way too far back. Zayn and Gigi made headlines everywhere when they recently announced their split. And you couldn't have wished for a more amicable breakup. He said he has a huge amount of respect and adoration for Gigi. And she responded by saying, I want nothing but the best for Zayn and will continue to support him as a friend that I have immense respect and love for. That's great then. No beans spilled. The end? Why is there a question mark there? Since then, Safa Malik has opened up a Heinz factory with a post on Insta captioned, horrible people get nowhere, which also said, don't get mad, don't get even, do better, much better. Become so engulfed in your own success and happiness that you forget it ever happened. Or at least it did before it got deleted. Oh, who's telling the truth? The two with enormous PR teams and a multinational brand to nurture, or the teenager from Bradford? I just don't know who to believe. Gigi's mum Yolanda has also weighed in by posting, The only way that we can live is if we grow. The only way that we can grow is if we change. The only way we can change is if we learn. The only way we can learn is if we are exposed, and the only way that we can become exposed is if we throw ourselves out into the open. Troy Sivan looks ready to shake off his label as a gay icon. Surely when you take a look at his lyrics, constant support of LGBTQ plus activism and his public coming out, you'd think that TS would be primed to be the gay icon of a generation. But apparently, it's not quite that simple. And because he's concerned about representation of the community as a whole, Troy reckons it's worth taking a step back and looking at the bigger picture. He told Wonderland, I will never understand the struggles of a trans woman of colour growing up. How can I help? That's why I politely reject the term gay icon. I would never want to put that on myself. Cher, Madonna, Miley, Robin, Lady Gaga, those are my gay icons. But I don't know, maybe I'm missing it, but I politely think it's the fans that make you and therefore it's down to them to choose what you ultimately mean to them, right? But anyway, this absolutely doesn't mean Troy's gonna stop flying the flag anytime soon. Also saying, I would have loved to have had more queer music growing up. Some of the biggest stars in the world are opting for a radical new beauty treatment. The penis facial. Warning, this story is gonna get pretty wild. I'll give you a hand signal before we get there so you have a chance to back out. Actress Kate Blanchett has revealed the latest beauty treatment Hollywood stars are loving, explaining to the star that she even took Sandra Bullock for the facial that apparently helps keep your skin looking radiant and youthful. She said, I saw this facialist in New York and she gives what she calls the penis facial and it's something, I don't know what it is, or whether it's just because it smells a bit like sperm. There's some enzyme in it. So Sandy refers to it as the penis facial. Wowee, and we're not even there yet. The enzyme she's talking about is in fact a special epidermal growth factor serum that uses stem cells. Mmm, oh, this is lovely. Where did you get these stem cells from again? Oh, uh, just some Korean babies' foreskins. I wish I was making this up. It just goes to show there's literally no limits to what people are willing to go to to drink from the fountain of youth. 